Hey gang, welcome to Prop Live from the Shop. I'm Bill Duran, and today we're going to be molding and casting. That's right, from start to finish, everything you need to know to mold and cast pieces. I've got my Mr. Handy Robot parts right here, and I've got some fast curing silicone. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, buckle up. We are just going to dive right in and make some molds. So I'm gonna be making a two-part mold of some of these pieces here. I think I'll start on this guy right here. This is the eyeball from Mr. Handy. So this eyeball, we're gonna be making a, um, a two-part mold of this. And the first thing I have to do is design the mold. That is our basic mold shape for the eyeball there. And it's gonna, the silicone's gonna fill up this way, or the, the resin. So what I'm thinking about when I'm designing a, a mold is I'm thinking about if I pour sil or resin straight in, it's gonna fill up this way, right? And then this, so this part right here might be, this part right there might be a little high. This part, this nubbin here might be a little high if, uh, if it fills up. Meaning that those areas could probably catch bubbles when it gets filled up with the resin. So I may have to uh, make a vent there. For claying, I've got uh, a box over here with a light on it. You can kind of see whoop, a giant bright light and there's clay in there. And this is a non-sulfuric clay. I like using plastilina clay. It's really good for that. And I have a light box there so that it gets warm because the more warm it is, the more pliable it is. I will start by having a surface to clay this on so that I, I could clay it right on here, but I want to move it. So I'm going to put it on this surface here. Also, this surface is where I'm going to glue the walls once it's put down. So good to, good to think about that in advance. Uh, and then the clay, it doesn't matter what color it is. I just happen to have gray and red clay because that's what I bought. Uh, and you start by just roughing it out. So I'm going to give this kind of like a bed to work from. A nice flat sort of layer of clay so that I have, when I flip this over, there's room for the silicone to go on the other side. And I'm putting on more, much more clay than I know I will need. Yeah, so I'm trimming up the, where the box pieces are going to go. And uh, this clay is all reusable. I can throw it back in my bucket over here, which is really nice. Thank you, Antski91. So I'm just cutting, trying to make a nice 90 degree cut straight down for my mold box. This is just one of those silicone tools, but I'm going to use the handle of it to poke in some little dots for registration. And these are just negative spaces that fill up with silicone that will. Uh, keep the parts locked together and I'm avoiding this line that I made because that's where I'm going to cut a vent into the silicone uh, once it's all cured. But I'm just adding these little dimples for registration so that the two halves of the mold will lock together all nice like. That can go in there. Nice fresh can of canned air. So that right there is the mold box with the clay in there with our registration marks all good to go with just sides hot glued on it there. Nice and watertight so that when we fill it with silicone it won't leak everywhere. So that is ready to go. Now I'm going to go mix up some silicone and pour it in there. So I'm just going to pour this slowly over the part. Again not too slowly because I'm kind of short on time but just I just want to let it cover the part. There we go. Now, the curing time on that is about half an hour. It is a little chilly down here. It's 60, a little over 65 degrees, so it might be a little slower than normal. But I'm going to go set this over by the heater. 
So it'll be a little warmer over there and then we'll let it cure and then we can do the other side. So this is the guy we poured earlier and it should be all cured. This stuff cures in about half an hour. So we're gonna do is flip it over and do the other side. I just have to liberate it from the base from the, where we glued it down before. There we go. So that is what it looks like on the underside. Let's see, the, the clay just comes out all nice and easily, like so. And there's a little bit of clay in there that we can just clean up, but you can see that the silicone that we poured earlier is nice and cured. Yeah, so I'll clean this up and clay up a couple little extra parts, and then we can pour the second half of it. Spray in your mold release. Not a ton, you don't need a ton, but make sure you... It, Make sure you get a little bit on all your silicone. All right, so this, I pour, poured the mold release in, and I'm saying that out loud more, like, all the time, because uh, I pulled the, poured the mold release in, because if I didn't, then it would bond together, and it would be ultimate sadness. But I can just pour this over the other side. It's really a pretty simple proposition. This will make the... Um, the piece that we made will be embedded in the middle of those two layers of silicone and that's your mold. There we go, that's part two of the mold. I mean, this is, we have to let it cure. It's gonna take about half an hour, so it'll be about 3.15 by the time we take it apart. But that really is the entire two-part mold making process. So here is the two-part mold that we did using uh, Mold Star 20T and it's all cured on both sides so we can demold it. Uh, we just need to trim apart our side parts, like so, and we can peel it away, like that, peel away our mold box, that's the pouring spout under there. Um, I like to trim my molds to be nice and clean and tidy, so trim off the sort of flashing on the edge there, that's just a personal preference of mine. So what we have is a block of silicone, it's two parts with our piece embedded in the middle. And if I did a good job with the mold release, oh, it'll come right apart. Just like that. That is a happy, happy uh, bit of work there. Uh, not quite coming apart. Sometimes it does resist a little bit, but it will come apart, there we go. And that is a two-part mold, and that's our master in there, so we can carefully remove the silicone from the master. Save this guy so that if I need to make another mold, I can. And that is our two-part mold, just like that. It goes back together like that, and we can cast pieces from it. I wanted to put a vent right there so I can take a sharp knife There we go. Resin will go in here, air will come out there. That's the plan anyway. I'm going to cut out a uh, box to hold this thing. All right. So these two pieces go on either side of our mold, like that so that we can cast our parts into it. We just sandwich that together with some rubber bands. All right, so our piece is ready to go. I'm gonna start by just putting a little bit of baby powder in there as a mold release and to help get the resin to go into all the crevices that we need it to go into. Now I can uh, sandwich the mold back together, close it up and use some rubber bands for that. Um, so it's nice and clamped shut. And we can pour out our resin into it. Pour in our side A. Give it a good mixing. So I'll pour a little resin in, like so. And then kind of coat the inside. I can probably put a little more in and then coat the inside, sort of slush it around so that it's 
getting all the nooks and crannies and fill it up. I got pretty close. Ooh, I do! Look, resin is kind of hard to tell, but resin is coming up through that vent. That means that it's actually doing its job. So there we go. I will let that cure and then we'll demold it in a little bit. So we've let our resin cure all the way and we can demold it from our two-part mold that we just made and see the piece that it, we worked so hard on. So we just take the um, rubber bands off and then slowly peel apart our mold to show off the piece that we have below. Look at that. So that's the vent that we cut in to let air out of that high spot right there. And this is the uh, pouring spout right there. So we can liberate all of this Whoop. and pull that apart like that. And there's our piece. That is it, you guys. These parts can be trimmed off and cleaned up. This is uh, still a little bit uh, warm, so we'll let this cure all the way. And that is the final part. There you go, you guys. That is our two-part mold. We've got the two pieces right here. Boop. And this is the piece that we made out of it. And that's how you pull the whole thing off. Of course, we have our full molding and casting series. You can find a link down below to check out more uh, different techniques on molding and different techniques for casting. But that is how a two-part mold is made. Of course, go follow us over on our social media stuff. If you really like our videos, you want to help us out. There's the Patreon link right there. Thanks for watching, and thanks for hanging out with me today on the live stream at twitch.tv slash punish props. I will see you at the next live stream, which is on Thursday this week, our 100th episode of Prop Live. So be there or be square.